So I heard so much about Mustard Seed. I heard how you grew from zero SAP customer to 120 in a mere three years. What is your secret to the success? Actually, it's uh, no secret. Uh, first of all, uh, we really purposely decided to have a different approach as compared to other uh, ERP partners. Our approach is really just uh, making the implementation as simple as possible, uh, the, selling, the selling cycle as short as possible. SAP B1 has a lot of features and uh, in fact most of the SMBs will, will have more features than what they need with SAP B1. So with that thought, uh, we said that we can really implement SAP in a shorter period of time. That sounds like run simple principle to me and that strategy obviously has been working for a mustard seed. And the best part I heard is that while others might implement the solution in say three months, two to three months or so, you guys do it in 12 amazing days. 12 days yes. compared to three yes. months. How do you do it? Actually, in order to do this, uh, the most important thing is to implement out of the box. Whatever is available, we just implement for the customer. Second, uh, before you can do that, you have to communicate to the customer that that's the only thing that you will do. So you don't find yourself in a situation where the customer wants more and you can only deliver a certain, up to a certain part of the implementation. So what makes SAP B1 solution so popular in Philippines that you know there's so much um, there are so much opportunities in, in providing this service? I guess where we were very successful was uh, we came up with an approach where we can communicate to the customer that uh, SAP is really for the SMB as well. Uh, once we were able to communicate that um, it was very natural for companies to want to use SAP because in a way it's part of their bragging rights that they're actually the yeah, running SAP in their business and it gives them credibility. And one of the mantra that you shared with me earlier on is that making the technology work for the customers and not making the customers work for the technology, yes. that, that is how you get customers going as well. Yes. So given such um, opportunities and potential, what is the outlook for 2015? We see that uh, by the end of 2015, we will have about uh, a little more than 200 customers. That's only for the Philippines. Uh, but as uh, we would also want to expand to other countries in the region and do the same approach and leverage uh, our, our success in the Philippines and uh, replicate it in other ASEAN countries. Sounds like a good plan. And the sky is the limit, right? Yes. Congratulations again and all the best for 2015. Thank you. Thank you very much.